Hello friends and welcome back to HTML5 course. I'm the instructor. My name is Abdul Wahid. In today's class, we are going to discuss about using paragraph and heading text. How we can use paragraph and heading text. So this Notepad++ open in my computer and this is the basic structure of HTML. This is the title you can see. And I have saved this page by giving the name paragraph-heading.html. So at the first step, we are going to discuss about p tag, p start and p close. As I told in the previous class that p is a double tag, like we have p starting tag and p closing tag. So this is called a double tag. So inside this p tag, you can write your paragraph. For example, this paragraph is about HTML5 and CSS 3 just like this you can write a paragraph just control s to save now go to on the desktop on the HTML5 practice folder and this the file you can open and just double click on this and you can open this paragraph is about HTML5 and CSS 3 so like this inside the ptech you can write the paragraph for right now I am just going to remove this uh, just uh, after a few seconds, we will come back and we will discuss about this, how we can use this. So we are just discussing about paragraph and heading text. So we have just discussed about paragraph. Now we are going to discuss about heading text. What is heading text? Heading one start and heading one close. So you can just write here, um, welcome to my website and just copy this and you can paste so this one goes to for heading 2 and this one also heading 2 heading 3 this one also heading 3 heading 4 heading 4 and this one goes to heading 5 this one also heading 5 heading 6 and this one also heading 6 so we have 6 heading from heading 1 till heading 6 so you can see we have heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 till heading 6 if we just save this file by pressing ctrl plus s to save or just go to file menu and press save from here now go to your uh, on the browser and refresh so you can see the result welcome to my website and heading 1 is the biggest one and heading 6 is the smallest one you can see the changes between the headings can see the changes in size so I'm just going to remove this uh, so it was just about heading that we have six heading from heading one till heading six and how we can use this now we are going to just discuss how we can use heading and paragraph tag I'm just uh, writing here a heading three you can use any heading you want heading one heading two till heading six and I'm just writing here welcome to welcome to for example japan and after that i'm just putting a p tag here p start and p close so inside this p tag you can write the paragraph i'm just going to copy some text uh, from microsoft word so the text is here just right click and copy come back and you can just paste here inside the p tag and this is the text you can see this is the p starting tag and p closing tag inside this p tag we have just paste the text just press ctrl plus s to save and preview on the browser refresh so this is the heading and this is the paragraph if we just zoom out from here now we can see so this is the heading and this is the paragraph if we just copy this p tag with the heading tag just ctrl c to copy and you can just paste here now this time welcome to london and control s just come here and refresh now we have another heading with another paragraph so you can just uh, copy and paste now this time welcome to america you can save come here and refresh now we have three headings if we just zoom out put it on a hundred 
so we have three headings and the three paragraph you can just change this heading to heading two heading one any heading you want for example the first uh, heading i'm just going to change this i'm putting this heading two heading three you have replaced with the heading two and control s to save just come here and refresh now you can see this heading is just uh, bigger than others so it was about the heading uh, and the paragraph tags how we can use paragraph tag with the heading tag so hope you understand and uh, just watch this video and do a lot of practice and in next tutorial you will come back we will discuss about how we can insert links in html so till next class have a nice time and see